Welcome to this quick take video on Xilinx Board Management Utility Introduction. In this short video, we will walk you through the basic steps of using XP Management to manage your Arial cards. You will also learn how XP Management can help you with card examination and configuration, as well as firmware flashing and platform updates. XP Management is a command line based utility used to interact with the management function of your accelerator card. This diagram should be able to give you a top level view on the dependency of the XP Management and how it works within the whole stack of Xilinx Runtime and your hardware at the system. Accelerator cards are partitioned into a user function and a management function to provide different levels of card access. The user function lets you load and run applications, while the management function is for system administrators to manage the card. The XP Hotel utility interacts with the user function. The XP Management utility, which requires root privilege, is for interacting with the management function. We will have another video to introduce XP Hotel utility. Let's start our practice on XP management with the following demo. When the Arial card has been plugged in and powered on, we use the Linux command SPCI to confirm the card is successfully installed and can be recognized by the OS. This is the very first step after the card has been installed on your server. After installing the XRT and deployment platform, we often need additional commands the XRT utility, XP Management, and XP Util to identify and validate the installed card and report additional card details, including memory, PCIe platform name, and system information. We need to first set up environment for XRT. All the supported commands and options can be listed with XP Management help. We use XP Management exam to list all the accessible ARIO cards in the system and report their basic status, including the BDF number of the card. The XP Management exam command can also be used to report detailed status information of the specified device. Dash D followed with card BDF number to select the card we want to exam. The option dash R is used to view specific report or reports of interest. For example, we could use dash R platform to only exam and report the platform information. Confirm the platform under the flashboard partitions running of BGA is identical to that under the flashboard partitions installed in system. If these versions do not match, means we need to perform a platform update. The dash B option is used to update the base image. This option is applicable for both the 1RP and 2RP platforms. You will be asked to confirm the update. Type Y and press the Enter key. Flashing will take up to 10 minutes. After successfully flashed the card, follow the instruction on screen to code reboot your machine to load the new base firmware image on the FPGA. Be sure to fully power off the machine and then power it on again. The image will not boot from flash if the machine is only rebooted. Then repeat the steps to check if the firmware has been successfully updated. Sometimes the satellite controller firmware need to be updated separately. In this case, use the same dash B command to flash the SC firmware. You will be asked to confirm the update. Type Y and press the Enter key. Flashing will take up to five minutes. After successfully flashed the SC, follow the instruction on screen to warm reboot your machine to make it work. The revert to golden command is used to revert the flash image back to the factory image, also known as golden. A code reboot of the system is also needed to perform such kind of operation. 
The dash s option of XP management program command is used to program shell partition, applicable for dynamic function exchange platforms, supporting two reconfigurable partitions, also known as 2RP platforms, like this U200 platform. Programming shell partition does not require system reboot, but after system reboot, you will need to program the shell partition again before running any applications on it. Once you've successfully programmed the card, you should confirm the flashable partitions running on FBGA is identical to that under the flashable partitions installed in system, particularly the shell partition of the platform. This getting started video mostly focused on the basic usage of XP management on IVO cards. More commands or options can be found with its help instruction. You can also check on these XRT, VITIS, or RVO documentations listed here for complete instructions and more user cases. We also have quick take videos talking about other utilities like XBUtil and XLBingUtil. Please check out our Linux webpage or YouTube channel for more details. Thank you for watching this quick take video.